What's up guys, welcome back to yet another video, I'm Cypher and today we're gonna talk about my new project, Box, A tool for the 2.4 GHz band which gave us a couple of features in one device. I walk you through how I make it and teach you how you could make it. First of all, thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring and providing PCB for this project. PCBWay makes the process of manufacturing the PCB for your project a lot easier. I used their service for a while for my few projects and the quality was great. RFBox is the combination of my few previous projects, which I did gather around in one device. In order to make this device, we need few components. NRF24, OLED, Arduino and few other components which we talk about them later. Let's get into PCB design. In this project I did use Altium Designer, but from my previous video feedback you guys told me it's expensive, so you don't have to use Altium Designer, you can use other designing software like KiCad, which is my favorite. In my design I used the 3.3V version of AS1117 in order to provide the 3.3V needed for my NRF24 because I used Arduino Pro Mini, 3.3V output wasn't available to use straight from my Arduino board and in order to make this device portable I used a TP4056 so I can use a rechargeable battery to power my device and also charge the battery also, to make the project interesting, I added no pixel LED and an external antenna for future uses. Now that you are watching my painful soldering process, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. At this time, our device is 50% done. In this part, I will tell you about the schematic in order to you guys to be able to test this project on your own. Connection between Arduino and NR24 are in this order. Digital 9 to CE, Digital 13 to SCK, Digital 12 to MISO, Digital 10 to CSN, Digital 11 to MOSI. And for OLED display, we need a simple I2C connection which is analog 5 to SCK and analog 4 to SDA. Also remember all this needed information about this project is available on my GitHub. I put the link in the description down below. Now let's take a look at the codes. In this section I specify different conditions for all the situation we need to use micro switches to control the menu. In this section, the options are displayed in the menu and a small mark is displayed next to the desired item to indicate the option we intend to select. In the next section, commands will be executed according to the option we choose. For example, I put various void functions to be executed in this section. Next, we will check all the selectable item and the capabilities of this device together. The first function is RF scanner, which show us the total of all activity in the 2.4 GHz band. Of course, keep in mind that this frequency band is not only related to Wi-Fi, even microwave have an effect on the result in this section. The second feature is 2.4 GHz jammer. According to the channel we choose, from among the 14 available channel, it sends an excessive amount of data and causes traffic in the related channel. Of course, make no mistake, this is not a Wi-Fi jammer and does not completely cut off the Wi-Fi access. And for the third and the last option, we have the channel analyzer, which show us the amount of traffic in each channel that we specify. I like this project a lot. 
So to make it more interesting, I designed a case for it using Blender software, which you can see the raw and rendered sample here. Be sure to tell me in the comments what changes are needed. For the next release, I want to use NeoPixel in the process of implementing functions. I will also fix the bugs that exist now. So be sure to check the GitHub link of the project that I put in the description down below. Also your opinion is important to me. Tell me in the comments what changes this project needs. And that's it for today's video, I hope it will be useful for you. Don't forget to subscribe and see you guys in the next video. Thank you.